Apologies in advance for how dramatic and self-important this is going to sound. That's just me, dramatic and self-important. Every morning I wake up and I'm still me. I just can't help myself. So my question is, does crying count? Because that's all I've got. I can't tribe. I'm not allowed. And every time I try to tribe, I feel like it lands wrong. And maybe it doesn't actually land wrong, but that is just how I perceive it. Looking at it objectively, I'm probably not wrecking the vibe in any egregious way. Because we're all just processing in our own way, speaking different languages. But I still feel dumb and wrong anytime I try to connect with anyone ever. And all the friend spots are taken. When it comes to being somebody in the tribe, it's a game of musical chairs that I lose every time. I'm just left standing there alone without a significant role. And I'm pretty okay with that. The other day I was walking up near the temple on the hill and this woman was leaving her car and she locked it and she was walking away from her car and her headlights were still on. And some headlights are like that. You lock your car and then within 30 seconds they dim and shut off automatically. But I didn't know if her headlights were going to shut off. Were they going to shut off automatically or were they going to stay on all day and her battery was going to drain? So I was just staring at them for a long time, watching to see if the lights would go out. And finally, I couldn't take it anymore. And I said, hey, are your lights going to shut off automatically? And she turned and she just nodded at me. She didn't say anything. She just nodded, yes, they are going to turn off automatically. And I felt really embarrassed. She didn't need my help. And it's a really stupid thing to still be thinking about a week later. But I just felt like maybe I interrupted her or maybe I annoyed her. And she didn't need my help and I'm not allowed to help. Because I get it wrong every time. So I don't know how to help and when I try to help it feels awkward. But what I can do is cry. I can bear and process an unusual amount of pain. I was built for it. It's no big deal for me because no part of me is resisting it. Resistance to pain is more painful than just experiencing pain in its purest form. So when I cry, I feel like I'm doing my part, like I'm somehow helping, like I'm accomplishing something by processing collective pain. And it feels impersonal, like the pain isn't even really mine. And even when it is my pain, that is also okay. I can handle it. I'm just reaching out and grabbing handfuls of pain and putting it into my feeling machine and washing it clean so it can be hung out in the sun to dry and become further purified by the light. And that's probably delusional. And it's probably a cop-out. And it's really self-important and gross. Who do I think I am? Do I really believe that I am somehow doing my part by going off into a quiet corner and processing pain? Yesterday I saw someone stuck in incredible anger and I had this overwhelming urge to just rush in and cover him with love, but I'm not allowed to do that. So I just cried because some part of me believes that I can transmute the anger into sadness and process it and purify it and sift it through all my filters until it comes out soft. And I, on some level, feel like I'm doing this big, important job. But I'm really just a weirdo that doesn't know how to connect with anyone. Yeah, I don't know how reality works. Like, maybe, maybe it is helpful. Like, we're all holding different frequencies and we're playing different parts. And I'm just built for grieving. And maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe that is my role. Or maybe that's a really self-focused, self-important belief that isn't true at all. Anyway, sorry again that this video was so dramatic and self-important and lame.